So now we're going to look at worded problems more than just number sentences. A Blu-ray disc costs $4 more than a DVD. If Asher buys two DVDs and a Blu-ray for $44, how much did each DVD cost? Hmm. So I'd like to read that again. A Blu-ray disc costs $4 more than a DVD. And I'm going to start by organising that a little bit in my head. So there's two things happening. There's a DVD and there's a Blu-ray. And I know that my Blu-ray is a DVD cost plus four. Okay, so I sort of start sorting out my head and that's just whatever it is. Now, if Asher buys two DVDs and a Blu-ray, so two DVDs and a Blu-ray for $44, how much does each DVD cost? All right, so I can't solve an equation that has two letters in it, so I need to have one letter. And we're gonna use X's because it's good to have a system. So how do I decide what X is going to be? Well, if I'm not sure, this last question helps me. How much did each DVD cost? I'm gonna say that X is the cost, let X, be the cost of one DVD. All right, so I've kind of organized it a little bit, made sense of it. So I'm gonna say my DVD now costs X. My Blu-ray costs whatever the DVD was, which was an X plus four. So two DVDs is the same as saying two Xs. A Blu-ray is equal to x plus 4 and that all together equals $44. So now I have a linear equation, I've just got x's and numbers, so I've got 3x plus 4 equals $44. I'm going to take the 4 from both sides, I'm left with 3x is equal to $40. And I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And I'm going to get x is equal to 40 divided by 3, which is $13.33, rounded to two decimal places. So therefore, it's a worded question, so it needs a worded answer. Um, each DVD cost $13.33. Three cents.